We are live. Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week three, <laughs> the third episode, the third, third chapter of life. life is strange, double exposure. Okay, so let's just jump into the game after. Yeah, the plot twist that happened. In the <laughs> second chapter, well, well, that was what an ending. Okay, then let's go. Um, full game, yes. Update on what? Where? Wednesday here, and let's just continue the game. Another one. Let's see. A hot dog man. What's this? This is what's her <laughs> cat. I think we'll just stay with this. This shirt is like from the Easter egg for the second game, Life is Strange 2. I, I think, yes. Just choose this. Let's go. Let's go jump in. Yeah, that's what that sounds. Yeah, what the shirt? See how many days Oh how is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's how many take days a look at the evidence for the cajillion time? I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Safi. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense, and I would never hurt Safi. Not uh, on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also every that time you use your power, nothing makes sense, Max. Maybe something nothing on makes there sense. will crack the case wide open. Wait, I want to. Uh, I want to see what's in the hard drive. I don't think I've seen it. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera, like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Well, that's weird. Or is this another doppelganger? Probably. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Safi chapter. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi. Not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Is this the one that. Why on earth did Gwen oh, cancel yes, Sophie's one. book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Or maybe it's not Gwen at all. It's not our Gwen. I. 
Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Everything has holes in it. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Is that it? Is there anything more than that? Uh, nothing, nothing. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Nope, there's nothing. I have to prove that wasn't me. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, uh, fuck. fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that. I have some questions for you. And I like the shirt. I really want that shirt if it ever been sold in my country. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. Is this only me or the frame is worse There are just a few details I'm time. struggling to make sense of. Change. But why do FPS drop? Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school. Really? We went right? this again? Uh, uh. Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Yeah, man, that's my sad bring out Arcadia Bay here. Yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Man, I hate him. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, well, let's let's fake ignorance, like fake ignorance. I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. Well, you told me to leave. What do you mean? All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. It 
least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. But I hate him, but... That's not true. It's kind of creepy. I hate him. <laughs> well, let's just see. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Try it. Try it. Maybe. Maybe I still could. Can she? Let's. Ah, uh, different power. Uh, okay. No, she's still trying. Oh no way! We can still do that? That's cool. I forgot how to do this way. Wait, can we still do that? <laughs> That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. What the? F but uh? there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Oh, look. It's not a living or dead. A man of Maya is the one that, like, uh, the book outer in the second chapter. I think she died. Safi! How did we get here? What happened? <laughs> this is some freaky stuff. Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. What the fuck just happened? I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. I can 
Just... Fuck! <laughs> Moses... You were right. I don't know how. But you were. I have to tell him. Everything. What <laughs> some freaky stuff. But we cannot interact with the cat. Addition to the journal. Let's see. I don't like him either. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. Well, that's better. Oh, what's this? I have to do this. I have to go back up there. Okay, question. Why there isn't a living? Let's just see what happens. Part to the overlook, here. Max. One foot in front of the other. Let's see. Oh, this is the same place at uh, yesterday. There's nothing here, and nobody. Ah, I guess we'll just use the one here. not here yet let's give him a few minutes maybe wait on the bench there's a point of interest there uh, oh we can take a snapshot I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this if only now nah, we'll just have crisis Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. Who knew some? You stay the fuck away from me. What if he doesn't come? Worse, what if he Could comes with a cop? I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I, any version of me, could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Should we wait? Should we wait? I mean, I can leave now. Let's wait a little while. Let's wait a little while.
Nah, I think that's it. Let's just leave. No, let's leave then. Oh, there's what's up. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I didn't do it. She didn't do it. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know why I haven't done it yet. I think the the best like, way to go here is B. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. She? Better. Well, it sounds way, crazy, but... I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me poof, disappear. Yeah. To some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Yeah. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. I want to see the I want to see the message. I will read this later on the other paper. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. <laughs> well, I mean, he can see me disappear. I can just pick a freak and come from here. Is there any effect? I shouldn't leave yet. Oh. <laughs> it's not leaving, it's like what? Three meters. Three meters across. Shit. I think Fine. Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. I'm curious what what did Moses see when I'm disappear. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you. You believe me? Yes. And no. You disappeared, Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> Ready when you are. <laughs> In it proof? What the fuck? Okay. Let's try this again. 
Psychic storm. What the hell did he do? Is that it? Should I go back? Blah blah blah, physics storm or something. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Why? Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yup. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her... Absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to. You okay? So Safi's alive over there, huh? She is. Yeah, but the friend is fine. And so. she's. Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? A bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. When you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything. Everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I stopped using it and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there in the past. Safi mentioned Maya, and, oh god, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. Oh, uh, one.
fuck? Whoa, 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 what's that? First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight. But, uh, this is the dead world. Why? Why is Alderman here? Mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. Is this the bus? He hasn't already met you. Like he's Alderman from yesterday. An Alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you're not picking any. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. I hate him. Evidence but doesn't he's disappear. Good detective. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to collect. Oh, he sees it. He sees the double leg, double ganger. Wait, did the bus can see him too? Okay, this is getting you. This is getting you. Good detective, though. If we can use his help, maybe it's better. I mean, in in its in the true colors, I think we need the help of, from the officer there. So let's just save him. Wait, is he just gone? I could have saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Then what happened to the elder man? Moses, your hair. I 
told you, there's always a cost. Started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. Oh, mentor shit. during all that mess. Gwen, yeah, true. That didn't look good go at all. Gwen. Now I'm curious what happened to the Alderman. Not the Alderman. I mean, Alderman. Is, is it his name? <laughs> it's kind of weird name. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya. And while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Ass hat, creating my final night. Mm. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> Let's see if there's a new point of interest. Okay, new Polaroid. Good. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Yeah, the game, the like game got, got heavier. Still very ambitious. Go I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. Let's see, any other point of interest or any other... Oh shit, that's... that's... That's a big frame drop. This is the living, right? Yes, it's the living. So. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Reggie Kagan? Business major Reggie? Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max! <laughs> yeah, but I got confused. You know Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Uh, she sets her eyes on me. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. See? This is journalist. Uh, I don't like the friend drop. Professor sitting on the table. That's awesome. I should follow them for more info. Gee, 
Jeez, Caladon. Is that necessary? Fuck. This doesn't look so great for Gwen. Ah, uh, the frame drop. Oh god. I am sorry for whoever watching this. And then she didn't. Can I lock the door? Can I? Wait, no, we cannot. Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? I see nothing. There's nothing here. So let's go to the other timeline. Let's make Queen hate us, hate us even more. Before that, what happens if I do this? I hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? Notes. Mm. Oh, everyone loves Gwen. I mean, she she's kind of cool teacher, lecturer slash lecturer slash. I don't really use word for that. Old school, nice. Mm, not center enough. Let's check it. Then. More music. I'm not cool enough to know. One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine one of Sophie's former students, I guess. Mm, Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you <laughs> said Sophie's <laughs> Gwen books already hate canceled. Jesus. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? First, why do this is up? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder.
So, what did you tell the publisher that made him nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Not next When's year. bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. I know she's an author and she's died. But Safi never mentioned her. Maya Okada? Safi never mentioned the name. Hmm. She always did keep her cards close to her chest, didn't she? The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Just the peer. Let the me cure. get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. When really hates me, don't, huh? don't you? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. Go to the living one? How do I get my hands on a copy? Let's try going to the living one. Up there's where this Gwen placed the manuscript. Let's see. Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like, I don't know, being hit by a tidal wave. Well, this is part where, where it matters, so. Whatever happened with Maya was Explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. Who? Nope. She's still not answering. Isn't like her.
This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but failing him is harsh. So she knows we're thinking about her. Hmm. We are going What's to the FAB to ask for a living. Yes. So we need to go to the living world once again. Oh. Ah, yes, fine art. This is fine art, William. Forgot about that. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Wait, let's see some recon first. The dead world. Nope, nothing here. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> nosebleed can lead to breaking time in reality. We could talk. As we know it. Come, sit. First, I'm worried about Gwen. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> okay, so isn't in this reality, like, Sophie doesn't lose her book deal? Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but Better I can choice. cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? <laughs> Come on, I don't I don't plan to make everyone hates me. Let's just see let's go let's go along with it for now. Uh of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just What? Are... 
Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you... keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. Mental health problems, okay. We tried to get her help, she needed it, but that didn't work. If we'd known that it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Hmm. He's probably in the admin building. Yo, I'm in there. Hey, sport. Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? You know, my Okada and Safi. I mean, they probably I was hang out at the turtle. about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. I'm <laughs> in the laptop. Let's see what. I can't is. imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? I think nothing we can do that do there so let's go But what key do I have? Oh, bathroom key. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. 
I didn't realize I needed cryptid erotica until just now. Keep up my shenanigans and I'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. Oh, there's a hot dog man. Let's go to the death room. It's that security guy who's been lurking all over campus. Is he looking at glasses? I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. Oh no! Somebody abandoned their boy. Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary. Where's Diamond? That's not Diamond. Why is still here? The legend book. Don't mind oh, us, Max. Finn. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up, can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. But this is a dead world. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to go to the leaving. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. But? Diamond! Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which... What's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? The her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I have the right piece of dirt, I bet I can make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Let's bring Yasmin in, in here too. Vin gave a public statement about Maya. And I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. But don't they? Just, Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Yeah, that's true. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. Oh, another Polaroid. The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? Say cheese, little guy. Oh, that's good. I don't like the looks of this guy. Too grim, reapy. 
Changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing. I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Can I wait? Okay, we can speak. How the hell do I get him to talk? Let's speak hey, first. Vin? And then let's see if we can go to the other timeline. Well, that is the face of someone who just overheard the little discussion Diamond and I were having. Yeah, afraid so. I take it things are dicey inside of Braxis? Yeah, well, things are dicey outside of it too. <laughs> The uniformity is comforting. And yet, no little airplane bottles in sight? <laughs> uh, Kahuna caught on to the airplane bottle gambit, so... Now I have to drown my sorrows at the turtle after work. Join me? Uh, <laughs> this guy, this guy. My schedule is a little uh, crazy today, but I do have sorrows I'd like to drown. Violently. Don't we all? How the hell do I get him to talk? Uh. Let's go to the living world. That's my cue to get out of here. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case... I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me, but Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, Super Sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Any other point of interest? None. What's this? I've got to hear what Vin says to Dime. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Ah, nerf. Let's see. Uh, that's Finn. That's Diamond. Okay, let's hear what they have to talk about. Can you recommend a stale cup of coffee, please? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. Yasmin asked you to give that statement, didn't she? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maya died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. Holy... You had to say about Maya. I don't know, Diamond, maybe because we were fucking friends? 
Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, here. maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. This is the living world, right? Yes, this is the living world. I get confused sometimes. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Sophie suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <laughs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. Dang, or not. No. Uh, one other secret. Choose wisely. Good friends. friend. Safi. I think we can pressure him with this one. You and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. <sighs> Remind me not to underestimate you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? Yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were what? Protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. 
and now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. I will, Finn, I will. We're going to look at that. You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you please hold? Uh, yes, Absolutely this not. Us out of my office now. This but I, I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just going to go back to being friends? I want to talk to you about Maya Okada. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! Well... What the fuck was that? That's as much as I get. I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. I think the reason why the FPS drop here is because there's so many windows, so there's so many light particles that uh, so that the GPU has to like work over time to do that calculation. Ah well, nothing I can do about that. We cannot go to Lucas office now, but we can go to Lucas office. Through our timeline, let's see if I just the thing. Can I speak to Lorette again? No. I don't. I like it a little bit now. Let's see. Where's this? Uh, no, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look nice. around inside. All right. First, let's let's see around. what I can find about Maya. Not a Polaroid. Good. What was that? How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yaz? Pretentious, shiny, and probably has. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. Do you have something for me, Mr. Filing Cabinet? These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. That's a lot of junk. Maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Hmm, let's see. Um, right. oh. That could definitely be Maya Okada. Bruce Lucas Conroy wants to be my mentor. Oh, he is her mentor. I'm going to bring what I have so far to more. I'm going to where I get next. Maybe we can help bring some. i to see what you think. Possibly. Oh, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too long. <laughs> if I have every nickel for every time my mentor kidnapped and kills his or her student, <laughs> I will get one nickel. Of course. 
course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. So, the three of them know. Yeah, because we already know that the Yasmin is lying, so... I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Yasmin did one of these? This, what's this? Maybe he reads it for the articles. Nothing there then. Only that Maya Finn and Safi are in the same class. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. Gee. <laughs> key. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Let's see before that, let's see if... Oh wait, this is... We can open this cabinet. Ah, the cabinet is locked, okay. Everything is locked. Can we hear the other... Lucas. I know Lucas has something in here linking nope. him to Maya. Went up for the, this first wait. Hold on. No, and it's not locked. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. Nothing interesting there. Only a slot book. Doesn't fit. No, I'm curious. Well, the only thing left is the cabinet. Nope. Hmm? Hmm, that's weird. Wait, what? Okay, that's, that's genius. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's gotta be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. Holy f oh. Oh, I see. I see. There's a there's a possibility that uh he Lucas stole her work. Okay, some some of it like like the first hit, the bis the beast rose and starting to meet became me. That literally the yeah. This is plagiarism at its finest. Finn was right. 
Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Safi. Leave him with Safi. Safi, hey. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Is something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Safi, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? You've heard about I'll give. Let's be honest here. I think I, I think I should be honest here. I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> Yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up for me. But... It's not up to her to take care of me anymore. That's not just what's the matter. I'm here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. So I was in company now. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. Or Vin said he'd be here too. In the dead world, turtle, that is. Oh, there's Finn. Is that Finn? Yeah, that's Finn. I still have the ba bathroom key. Can be a bar. Why not? Because we already have hmm. it. Must be game night. Totally smoked. Dead empty. Why don't you just make the campaign easier? And to see every possible thing. Uh, the from retro. Uh, I should benchmark later. So, oh. I'm not gonna do anything. It is a sad moment. Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? You stay the fuck away from me! 
I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. What Lucas did to Maya was deplorable. I can only imagine how painful that was for Safi. And I poked at that pain like a kid with a stick. Maybe I should have told her the truth. I think I'd kill you. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. Oh, fuck. I thought things would be different here. I hope Sophie doesn't hate me for too long. So this is lonely. This is Lord knows. And the song, I always like the song. <laughs> I started to wait about it singing. It might take a long time to say. Let's just go. Let's talk to Amanda. Is that another Polaroid? Yes, it is. You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, in that case, Maybe I'll bring a notebook. Just tell Take notes. Him. Excellent. Write this down. What? Uh, does comedy. Enjoys live music. Are you bananas? Super cute. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. I feel like yeah. it looks like nobody's having a great night. I'm not. Okay. Well, let's see. If I talk to Amanda, is it like, well? <sighs> Nobody should have let you take those business classes. Let's try to talk to Gwen first. I know. I know. Gwen hates me. Hey, Gwen. Oh Jesus Christ! Here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Um, I hope. Just take care. Well, we, we repaired it a little bit. What's that? Ah. Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. This is why I keep telling you that you just need to get laid. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? <laughs> but it was. Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. However, that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just. I haven't felt this way with anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. Soft woman now. But I But there's only one like yes. Sport. 
Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You're cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat. I never drink like hard alcohol before. Uh, All of the I only drink like of the or, Taste or, or a beer. How are we feeling now? Wait. Well, I drink some. Like I try to drink some whiskey. I've hit rock Before bottom. I had actually drinking some whiskey. But then I realize I'm still falling. <gasps> you are such a disaster. God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Sorry. Did you say someone called Granite Joe is out back smoking them? I take you to meet Granite Joe. Dude's a sweetheart. Very generous with his blunts. And do you partake? I am an adult taxpayer, so yes. And then I hand the blunt to you. Well, I don't want to be rude. I take a puff and Back to Granite Joe. You try to, but Granite Joe has wandered off. You now have one blunt. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary, kill. I ain't And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's draft. No, oh, okay. let's, let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, to be fair, I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar. 
and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I'll only need one eye to see the show anyway. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she would land. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. <sighs> I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone Cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. <laughs> that was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with Let's see. One half-smoked blunt, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Wars show is gonna be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. But I'm gonna ask the guy, okay. You keep saying that about your day. What happened? Should we tell her? Should we tell her? Is there a choice? Why are you so start. nice to me? Shit. <laughs> I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? <laughs> it might just be, I have a time. <laughs> Why am I <laughs> contemplating with this choice more than the other choice? Um... At this point, you saying one new thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey, I have never made a girl cry on a first date before. And I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, see, I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Yes, kiss, sorry, please. Um, the suspense is killing me. Sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, this, 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 this. It's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. 
Le suspenant. Ah, oh, 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 mm. That's the first. Mm. <laughs> this is an important choice. Wow. Really? Of course I will choose this. Sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. By the way, this is the living one, not the dead one, so... Fuck. Receptor, okay, that was the... I think the fastest, yes. <sighs> when do you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. Goddamn. <laughs> To be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. Um. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Okay, now I'm cu curious what happened in the dead world if I don't speak to V. I forgot this is the thing. Uh, let's see notes. Task. I forgot. Wow, the vibe. <laughs> the vibe changed. So, are you gonna take the visionary ventures gig? I'm supposed to give them an answer by hey. tomorrow. And hey, yourself. And how are we feeling? Leaning towards oh, you know, Damn, I'm upright. Take it easy, Moses. okay? I made pasta for him since he wasn't really eating. Oh, lucky guy. Your spaghetti alla carbonara made me see God. And he wrote me this. That's what I really need to cap off my night. Falling on my ass. Oh shit, just realized. The painting different. In other one is happy in this set. What if it never happened? Should we talk to Finn? I mean, I can talk to Finn too. There's Vin. Exactly where he said he'd be. Come here often? Oh, you're here. You invited me. I guess I did. That feels about 40 years ago. yourself <laughs> if I can be with I can be friend with Finn in the dead world you know? I don't want, I didn't really want to romance him but oh that's strong <laughs> rough day everybody hates me I'm annoying I'm 
bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Tafi. Tafi used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Safi was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. There's been a lot going on, and it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything, and it ended a while ago, but I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. <clears throat> I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless, you can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. This is right? I don't want this choice. Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? Oh, shit. What? No. I mean, we were. No, talking. that's cool. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy. Oh, he's by. Telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of pluggable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? Okay, just kidding. <laughs> um, 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 um
No, I respect. I respect Gwen. Yes, I respect Gwen. She's a wife. So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass, not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them, just... Just... <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash. I pass everything. <laughs> I pass everybody here. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yes, me. Oh, that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> Who is my everybody? I would not have pegged you for the time. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both know? Right. Huh. No. Are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not. Oh at shit! <laughs> this is appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? <laughs> I'm sorry. If anybody's rooting for this, I am so sorry. Don't take this the wrong way. But no worries. No hard feelings. That's the smasher pass rule. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Night, Max. Good night, Vin. Oh, he <laughs> feels. He looks so sad. He's cooled off and is trying to reach me. Adding this to my sad guy drinks alone series. I feel worse. This Amanda has been taking care of me for days. I should give her a break. Is it Polaroid? Mm. Yeah, it's why is why is that color? Reggie, what happened? Hey Reggie. Feeling okay? Um, ah, yes, the death works. I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth. So. Reggie. I know, I'm not doing good. Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. 
and maybe maybe they're right. Everyone's. Thing is, everyone's a fuck up. Every last one of us. Even you. Reggie, I'm the biggest fuck up I know. Well, if the great Max Caulfield is a fuck up, I guess there are worse things to be. Thanks, Max. Anytime. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. What's up, Murphy? Ah. You know, I entertained the last, and the last time. Storm. Dead. Oh wait, this I'm gonna see Let's leave. Yeah. I got an achievement. This is the living. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw this in the trailer of the third episode. So. What the hell? We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Or is it a cat, maybe? Oh, God. Is that our cat? This is bad. No, 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 no. This is not a cat. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? I doubt the home invader attacked my pillows. But what, Max? This is an inside job. No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Oh, shit. <gasps> ah, that's a cat. Scared. I think we're in a dead world. Miso, say tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. I can't resist a cat on a fridge. Hey, say me.
Newspaper? What is here? I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. Oh, my snack stash. Bad cat. Guess Count Catula has particular tastes, and bananas is not one of them. Here. Should we go to the dead side? Somebody wanted to get in here really bad. Oh, shoot, okay. <gasps> God dang it, that's just you know, still here? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fuck. I think they just went into the dark room. That this that scared I can't shit let them out go of through my investigation stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my heart. Oh, that's good for my heart. Oh, dang it. No, I'm scared. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. Me too. I see what happened to the dead world. I think nothing happened here. I don't have a cat here, so. Looks good. But why did they mess with Sophie's poetry books in the first place? Is it a coincidence? Everything's still here where it belongs. Yeah, uh, okay. Max Moses, I must bid you adieu. Make good choices, or you know, don't. What the? Looking for these? Really, Max? Most designated drug. Keeping a lot of stuff I care about in the dark room. There you are, asshole. Show me your face. That's what? me. What in the fucking fuck is going on? <laughs> okay, that's freaky. That's freaky. Wait, or is it the the living world, Max? But no, if it's a living world, Max, why? Why does he destroy her own apartment? Hmm. I sense this is a cat thing, and not a trespasser thing. Everybody knows that bad shit happens in basements. Well, you expect it not. Um, hey, <laughs> it's me, Max. I'm you, somehow. I would really love to know what the fuck is going on.
You weren't supposed to be home. What? Why wouldn't I be home? <gasps> Wait! to get across there. Now how do I get across? Yadar. Come on, come on, come on. How else can I cross? This is how you get across. to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. There. There's the... Uh... Shit. How do I know which way? Hmm, I wonder. There she is. Well, this is suspenseful. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Hope I haven't lost her. Looking at your own self, and still your focus is on Safi. I don't understand. She sound like close. She, Why were you in like my close. house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room about Lucas, about Vin, about Gwen. Shit you have no reason to know about or care about. Oh shit, did it Will you fall? Wait, what? But you know too. You care too. Don't we want the same thing? Absolutely fucking not. 
Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Uh Wait, we can touch each other. Oh uh, shit, is the other Max, Max dead? Oh no. Oh, he will. Oh, she will. God dang it. Maybe it's because we have the power, so the side effect doesn't affect us. Come on! She teleport every the eyes. Oh no. yes, she teleport the eyes. I don't have power. Time power. What the fuck was that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. What? 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 Wait, what is that? The network selfie? Uh, 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 uh. What? I didn't expect it at all. Uh, okay, let's share a choice. Okay, this is okay. Yeah, many many people are still good. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I choose a good one here. Okay. Seventy two percent. Seventy two. Yeah. Let's see. Who oh, choose Finn? <laughs> okay, yeah. The popular opinion. A little letdown. See, I, I feel bad. Hmm, that's easy one. Hmm. Uh, how I don't see any button or anything. Oh, there's only one moment of reflection, okay. Ah, uh, what is that about using the power? <laughs> so I'm the only one, not the only one. I'm the twenty-one percent people playing that choose to use the power. Okay. 
<sighs> well, another fucking cliffhanger. Can't take it by head. Why is Safi there? That's a death word, Safi. That's yeah. That's a death word, Safi. Did Safi kill herself then? Man, so many questions. But yeah. Well, that's episode 3. <laughs> Little bit of a roller coaster at the end. Like usual. Uh, okay, uh, yeah. Then thank you for watching the stream. Uh, I will upload this on YouTube as soon as possible, as soon as I can. And yeah, if you like watching. To be live stream well live stream playthrough so consider subscribe and like the video and follow me on twitch so yeah see you next week then goodbye